Hey everybody, this is D.H. Thorne. Um, I had originally recorded the intro to this video um, using my new camcorder. Um, and for whatever reason, part of this whole thing got corrupted and didn't get saved. So I figured I'd just do a quick voiceover to introduce this video. Um, I hope you guys like the fact that I'm using a new ritual setup in this video. Um, this is actually my older temple, basically. <laughs> it's basically just a room in my house that I have set up with um, one of my altars and everything. Well, I decided to move my better equipment back there to experiment with using it more for client rituals and basically my ritual videos. Um, as much as I enjoy doing them where I do them right now, I feel like it looks a little bit more professional a little bit more interesting. Uh, the only thing I have to do is improve the lighting and, um, you know, because this camera is a little bit different in its requirements. But interest, uh, interestingly enough, my, um, my web camera uh, that I bought for streaming and things like that is actually just a better you know, a uh, better camera for what I use it for. Um, honestly, you know, for $100, you just hook it up to your computer, and it's better than this camcorder that I got that's supposed to have all these features and stuff. So um, at least at least it's better in terms of, you know, it just, well, for one thing, it doesn't corrupt <laughs> it doesn't corrupt video. But for another, the, um, the video quality, even in dim lighting, looks better. Um, they're both 1080p, so I don't know why the one is more fickle than the other. But um, it is what it is. And so this video is a little dim. It's a little grainy because it's a little dim. But I think you guys will appreciate this. Um, this is another example of a shorter ritual done primarily to um, help someone with an issue that they're having. Not even an issue. This is actually a blessing. So this person uh, recently um, had an addition to their family and they are a very nice person and they do a lot of things to help people and they are, you know, they work really hard and it shows, you know, I'm, when I talk to them, they're often busy doing this. They're often busy helping people. And in the middle of all this, they've had time to be supportive of my work and to be friendly and to just take part in this ascension, this expansion, this experience that I've been having, uh, becoming a professional sorcerer and working with people like S. Ben Kane and so on. They've been there long for the ride and they've been very friendly. Um, one of my, one of my bigger supporters. And I felt like it was time for me to give something back besides just doing, you know, make writing a book and saying thank you. I wanted to um, actually put some energy out there for them and help them to give extra blessing to their child. So what you're going to see in this video um, is kind of cool, actually. At first it starts off very simple, and you can see that maybe a little uncomfortable in my new ritual surroundings. It's not new, it's just I'm not used to doing it this way on camera, standing and, you know, worrying about the lighting in the back of my mind and everything else. Is it going to look good? So that's a little distracting. I'm still getting used to doing rituals on film, um, and I think I'll just get better and better as time goes on. So that'll improve. Um, but this one, you know, it starts off kind of like I'm just kind of going through the motions trying to make contact, which with Malfoss is not hard. Uh, I can just about just think of him and I make contact at least superficially. Uh, and just a little bit of, you know, meditative trance or something like that and he comes right through and he did I got chills very quickly and I felt his presence in the room and I began talking to him and I started telling him what was on my mind now you have to understand that in all of these videos uh, and in this one as well you'll notice that I don't say a lot I sort of say come to me do this I hear you I feel you yes yes a lot of this is going on internally um, a lot of what I'm experiencing is internal and it's very hard to keep my wits about me and tell you what I'm seeing. Um, this is why some people, I guess they do auto writing or something like that. I've never experimented with that really, but, um, I don't have any problem remembering what I experience. You know, when I'm doing this, um, I will see him in an astral space. I will see him in my room. I will see him um, in the flames, and we will talk and we will converse. And sometimes it's verbal with spirits, and sometimes it's not. Now with Malfoss, 
he's a little interesting with me because it's not usually verbal. He doesn't usually come through and say, you know, D.H. Thorne, you must do this, this way or that. You know, it's nothing like that. It's more along the lines of I'm talking to him and he's like this enigmatic, you know, demonic crow figure that's dwarfing me. He's huge in this astral space and he'll like point to things or he'll look at things or he'll go like, you know, like he'll sound like a crow and it'll just, I'll just know something like when he does this. And in this case, um, as I'm communing with him, as I'm sort of telling him what my intentions are, I want this child to be protected. I want him to create this powerful astral tower um, to protect this, this child from all harm and hardship. Uh, in other words, I shouldn't say all hardship because some, some is necessary for our growth, obviously, but from any undue harm, we'll say. And... Um, so Malfoss impresses upon me this idea that oh, that's all well and good, but what about health? And what about, and I'm like, oh, you know, what about education and things like that? And I'm like, well, uh, Malfoss is more known for protection and certain things like that. He's, he can obviously, any, any, any entity, any demonic entity, any god, whatever, even if it's not in their wheelhouse to be a teacher, they can be an incredible teacher. You can become a very powerful sorcerer with any goetic spirit, even if it just says like it does one thing. You can call upon that spirit for almost anything. Um, some are just more, we'll say, focused or specialized or um, interested. That's probably the best way to put it. They're interested in doing certain things. So um, Malfoss is not limited, but he's more interested in what he's listed as uh, and a few other little things that people don't really know about. So he was kind of saying, well, what about Marboss? You just started working with Marboss. Why don't you, you know, call upon him? to confer a blessing upon this child as well, give this child, a, you know, better health, uh, and a good education, things like that, because Marboss is very well known for uh, that kind of stuff. So he also kind of, not as a warning, but as a kind of warning that there could be health issues in the future, in the near future, and that Marboss would be able to intervene and protect the child a little bit better in those departments. And I don't know if there's any health problems. I don't know if there's any potential for it. I don't know what the story is. I just go by what my spirits imply. So if the person in question is watching this video and is going, yep, that's true. There was something definitely going on. I'm glad you did that. Hopefully there'll be a benefit. Well, just they'll let me know in private. But, um, you know, there may not be. There may not be anything going on. And Marboss will just be on the lookout and just making sure everything's right. You know, maybe there's something um, that nobody sees, you know, like something that could happen in the future. So um, you will see in this video, as the ritual progresses, you can see when Malfoss begins to manifest uh, a little bit. If you're very sensitive, you'll you'll notice the, the shift in the energy in the room, the shift in the flames. Um, you will see the flames dancing a certain way. Now Malfoss, when he shows up for me, very often the flames of my cauldron will flicker in that they'll like dance, like they'll go up and like pop like a, like a, like they'll separate into like a big flame flicker and then die down very quickly, very rapidly, like pop, 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 flop, 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 you know, like it's very interesting. Then when Marboss is entering the chamber, you're going to see, my eyes are closed, so I don't see this, but I'm calling him into the flame. And before I call him into the flame officially, I'm saying, come to the chamber, come to, please let me know your presence. The flame kicks right up. You, if you really pay attention, you'll notice. And the flame starts to act differently. Instead of being quite as much of a, of a flicker, like someone's turning it on and off really fast, it begins to, um, to swirl and almost do like a tornado thing a little bit more. Um, I've noticed with him that that seems to be his calling card in my cauldron is more of a tornado action in the fire and it doesn't mean it's like a perfect one it's not like a like those fire tornadoes you can make with a turntable or something it's a little bit more subtle but i see it in the flame i see the this this spiraling motion you might catch it a few times as well on camera it's a little bit further away and obviously because of the glare it's not as clear but i think when i watched it it did look like there was definitely some kind of swirling going on um and then you will also notice that that flame it responds to when i'm giving it energy you can see that it's kind of moderate and then as i'm giving it more energy it's getting higher and higher and higher and more and more intense and then when i start 
easing back and start saying thank you for coming you can go at your leisure you know my friends my spirits you'll see the flame dying down and i all i can say is this this happens most of the time this is how it is most of the time um and i'm not in this case i'm not doing anything you know pyrotechnically to cause this and i usually admit when i use special effects because um i do use them occasionally and i've, and I've always told my clients when i do usually it's something simple like flash paper or i'll put a match in the cauldron so that it auto lights you know at a good part of the video but that's intentional. That's part of the showmanship that's meant to invoke the senses of magic and mystery into the person watching it, especially if they maybe aren't as, um, you know, maybe, maybe if they're more believing in these things, you know, not that they shouldn't be believing, but I'm saying if they're more receptive to the mysterious and the strange, and uh, especially if they don't work magic, you know, seeing something like that can be pretty interesting. But I don't do this stuff to trick or confuse. This is... Oh, pardon me, you got a little bit late. <laughs> I don't do these things to, um, to uh, trick anybody. It's more of an emotional, energetic response that I'm trying to create. So when I tell you that I did not in any way do this beyond, you know, synchronicity, I don't even like to take credit for it energetically because I believe that, um, you know, if you put me to the test, I couldn't make the flame go up and down and the spirits would ignore your request to do the same. So this is borderline synchronicity. Why does it grow when I'm asking it to? Why does it shrink when I say it's taking it apart? Um, most people would agree that, um, at least the experienced ones would agree that this is what happens. This is the kind of thing you can expect in your own practice. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I've talked long enough, and I just want to impress upon you that uh, my book, of course, is available. I do have services on fromtheashespublishing.com if you want to support me. Those are two ways you can do so. The book, obviously, is a little bit more easy to afford, and uh, my services are more expensive, but uh, I can tell you that I've had a lot of satisfied customers. Although we don't guarantee results, I absolutely guarantee my work to be free of defect, and um, I will work with you you know, personally in an intimate way to make sure that your uh, needs are met and that, you know, you can gain something from this. And I like to teach more than I like to do. In other words, I like to, instead of doing for somebody, I want to teach them how to do it. And uh, so I definitely like consultations. If you want to have a consultation with me and ask, you know, pick my brain about things uh, related to what I do, um, or of course, just ask me for a write, and you will see how I do it because I record my rituals uh, with very few exceptions. I record them all, and your your money isn't just buying a few photographs and the trust that I'm doing them. You will see the video um, live as I do it, and um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, the next, you know few minutes will be the ritual uh some early parts are you know edited out because they're not necessary um you know like where i'm lighting the candles setting up the altar all that and uh, hopefully what you do see is exciting and interesting so leave me a comment like and subscribe and share this video responsibly thank you very much this is dh thorn mind the shadows To this ritual chamber to pay me thy due respect. Malvas. I feel you, Malvas. Malvas, I have called you into this chamber because a friend of mine has recently had a new addition to their family. I had promised this person that I would make a humble petition unto you to bless this child, to protect this child, and to give this child your guidance and wisdom. It is with their permission that I ask this, Malfoss. Malphus, I ask you to come before us in this temple. Come before us in this ritual chamber, Malvas. Make your presence known. Go into the flame.
einmal was. Mal was, thank you, I see you. Malfas, I shall burn this candle all the way until completion. It is charged with my intention and my wish, Malfas. Malfas, I see your smoke going to the flame, Malfas, yes. Malfas, this simple sigil represents my desire for this child's well-being and advantage. Malfas, we thank you for this moment. Thank you. Malfas, thank you. Yes, Malfas, I shall inform. This child may have some difficulties. This child may have some difficulties early on. But her grandmother is very, very skilled. Very, very caring. She is in good hands. Will you please protect her? Bring to her any spirits which may need to come into this situation, Malfos. I ask you, Malfos, to please bring Please bring President Marbos if it is necessary. Bring President Mal Marbos to come and to assist and to ensure that no, no disease and no illness comes to this child, Malfos. Please, please work together with Marbos. Marbos, I call to you. I call to you. Marbos, do you hear me? Marbos, do you hear me? Marbos, do you hear me? Marbos, come into this ritual chamber as well, Marbos. Marbos. Marbos, I call unto you, Marbos. Marbos, as you have done for my other friend, I ask that you do for this one as well, Marbos. Please come into the flame. Go into the fire, Marbos, so I may see you. Give this child your protection. Give this child, protect this child from illness. I see you in the flame, Marbos. I see the swirling fire, Marbos. Yes, Marbos, protect this child. Give this child great health. Give this child great health, Marbos. Thank you. Thank you, that is all that I ask, Marbos. Malfas and Marbos, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your consideration. 
This incense is for you. This flame is for you. Yes, I see you now. Yes, I see you. Rake the fire as large as you wish. Show them your power. Show them your power. More boss and mouth boss, yes. Give them your blessing. everything I can give to you. Take everything that is needed to bless this child. Give this child strength. Give this child wisdom. Teach it to be powerful and strong and wise. Teach this child. Protect it. Guide it. Give it everything it needs in my name. Malvas and Marbas, I, a chosen of Lucifer. I call upon you to do my bidding. I call upon you as brother. As I lie, I shall sing your praises to all. I shall teach all of your wisdom and gnosis as I have done the others. shall burn until it is gone. It shall not be disturbed again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Go in peace when you are ready. Go in peace when you are ready. Go in peace, my friends. Go in peace. I declare this done.